In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an automated totem disabler farm inside of islands. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you do like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And let's get right into it. Before we actually do continue into this video and showing you how to make an automatic farm using the totem disabler, and to make it automatic, you have to know about the Robux giveaway. So if you weren't aware, a couple of weeks ago, we reached 20K subscribers. So we are actually doing a 20K subscriber giveaway for some Robux. So guys, make sure you go to the link in the description to sign up there. And I wish you all the best of luck. Okay, so to start this off, we actually need to build a farm. So we haven't built a farm in advance, so we just need to build out a little bit like this. So it doesn't really matter how far you go, but you all you have to do is build a farm. So when you build this farm, you want to set it up like an automatic farm. So you want to add conveyors and stuff like that to be able to do this. So according to the totem disabler, it can disable totems within a 10 blocks when active. So that is pretty good, but I feel like it's a little lame for how much it costs to be able to make this. So let's actually have a look how you make this. All right, so if you actually wanted to make this, you would obviously have to upgrade to level three, but you will need 10 red bronze ingots to be able to make this. All the rest of the resources are quite easy to make apart from 100 electronics will be needed for this. So let's actually count 10 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go one out completely cuts the signal so i'm gonna place a block let's just play let's just type in red all right so this indicates the block of where the system will actually sit so i'm not too sure if it matters what direction you're facing it however we want to place it roughly about here okay but now we got this here we actually want to put let's say some conveyors right because we want to make it as automatic as possible so we want to place some conveyors so let's face this in the right direction and let's just go along here okay now we've got this sorted we actually want to place totems down because this disabler disables the totems for working so let's actually type in totems so totems uh, so we have 52 of these however those grow slower than the the wheat totems so what we're going to do we're just going to place some totems like this so now we've got this along this is 10 blocks right so this will be a perfect amount to make this possible so guys if you have got to this point in the video make sure you do like subscribe and leave a comment letting me know that you enjoyed this video okay so let's just remove the stones make sure it's a clear area and then we want to obviously make the farm okay so a lot of you know how to make a farm okay by the time you reach le the electronic kind of stage in the game however i'll be showing you in this video on how to make a farm just in case if you never actually got around to it or maybe if you bought your electronic stuff and you just begin the game if so that is kind of incredible all right Right, so we need to find our wheat seeds. Now we just have to place these down. It does help if you leave this off for a little bit to let the wheat grow. So let's actually just wait for the wheat to grow quick. Right, while that wheat grows, what we'll do, we'll actually get to the system behind it, what everyone wants to know about. On this channel, we'll be covering everything that you need to know about this. If you have any suggestions or what you want me to cover, or maybe you don't understand about, let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely make a video on it. Okay, so we want to actually get this system going. So I'm going to set up a little time delay. Let's just put it like this. You don't have to do this part, but I'm going to do it because I'm planning to make another farm here. So it kind of runs off different kind of farms. Then what you want to do, you want to grab a switch. It doesn't really matter what kind of switch you have, button or whatever. It depends how quickly you want to act. I'm thinking of doing is trying a button because as soon as I connect the signal with the button it should just send a whole load down there but what we'll do we won't bother with that just yet let's actually place this switch down and attach it to all of these like this all you have to do is just attach the blue with the the purple all around to this side and then we can bring this signal all the way back if we wanted to like here or we can connect it to another system maybe if we have another farm we can connect it to there so it triggers them both 
In this case, I'll be using an LED just so it shows that something is on. So let's actually remove one of these switches because this would be a great help for us. Actually, to make this as simple as possible, you may not actually have timers. So I'm just going to be removing this and making it as simple as possible for you to understand. So we just want to attach that straight to there. And then I'm going to put a timer down. So let's just stick a timer down. You, you don't have to put a timer at all, but I'll be doing it in this video. So we want to attach this to this input. And then we want to put an LED maybe about here, just so we have a clear understanding if it's activated because at the end of the day as soon as this is turned on like this let's just attach it to a source okay now this is triggered and the light is on so this indicates that it's working and let's just stick a chest on the end light here all right so now we've actually got that sorted this is triggered on right so this gives it time for all the other plants to catch up and grow so as soon as we want to turn this off so this light indicates that it's on all right so let's turn this off like this now it's going to suddenly start working and fingers crossed things will start dropping in here so i think wheat totems work a little differently it stores it until it's full and then it drops it i'm not too sure i haven't done farming side in this game for a while but let's wait until something drops Look, you can actually see that this is working because they're slowly disappearing and regrowing so it is definitely doing stuff and if i click f you can see that it's collecting it so there is definitely doing something and as soon as i flick the switch this led will turn on indicating that it's working and it's giving it time to regrow i think i'm doing this correct but nothing seems to be happening so i'm just going to raise it up by one just to see if it has to be on the same floor I'm not too sure why what's happening, but I think it is working, but let's just wait and see. Oh, ah, okay, look, 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 it's just started working. Everything just started moving, so I'm guessing that it has to be full before it starts, like, working and stuff. So, look, if, as soon as we pause this, it's going to pause the production. This light triggers on, and now it's stopped. So that is really, really good. And as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit in the chest. So I'm not too sure what I did wrong there. I'm I'm pretty sure it works on one layer down. It always has done, but it might have changed. Let me know down in the, in the comments if it did change. So I don't know why it's still dropping. Ah, it's because it's night. Okay, so because it's night, obviously this signal cuts out. And then you're left with a signal that's continuously going or running at night. So that could potentially be going... So you could have it disabled at the day and at the night it works. So you could potentially set up some sort of system for that if you wanted to. So I need to quickly build a automatic sustaining circuit that you don't actually need electronic force with. So uh, last video I actually covered on how to make this so I won't include it in this video. Actually, while it is day and it just been sorted out, uh, I'm not actually going to bother making an automatic part just for this video. However, this is basically how it works. Just a little reminder, you want to set up totems. You also need this block here so it works. And then you want to get a switch. You want to power it off when you want the production to start and it starts getting all of this. And as soon as you don't want any of these totems working, maybe you want to use others because obviously there's a limit on how many totems can drop at once all you have to do is flick this switch and as soon as this is on this indicates that it's the production has been on hold so overall this is a definitely a really really good setup so we have to do is just click the switch and then it starts dropping like you just saw there and then you just keep repeating that process if you guys did enjoy make sure you do drop a like on this video and let me know down in the comments that this video has helped also, if you're still watching this video, make sure you do subscribe and make sure you don't forget about that giveaway. Links down in the description. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.